It's Friday, May 2nd, 2014, and let's talk about what happened this week over at xtadevelopers.com. First up, device updates. The Sprint LG G Flex, the Sprint Galaxy S3, and the Verizon Galaxy Note 10.1 2014 edition all received updates to KitKat this week. The G Flex and Galaxy Note updates, unfortunately, have not been captured quite yet, but the update for the Galaxy S3 has been captured. The link to the update on Google servers is actually available on our forum thread. To go along with that, Samsung also made the KitKat source available for the Sprint Galaxy S3 on their open source release center. So if you're interested in working with it, or maybe just want to open it up and see what makes it tick, head on over there and get the download links as well. Additionally this week, the Meizu MX3 saw a test build of KitKat get released, but if you have the device and you want to get that update, you're actually going to have to go look on the Meizu forums to get it. We do have that link, it's in the portal post, so look over there for it. Now surprisingly enough, the update actually supports art, but you have to enable developer settings first by putting in a specific weird key combination into the dialer so it will turn on, and then you can go in and turn on art. One way or another, if you've got one of the MX3s, which actually sound like a really impressive device, head on over to the forum on the Meizu site and get your hands on some of that KitKat. And one last update to mention, Oppo put out a new build for the Find 7A, which bring a few new features along with it. Unfortunately, KitKat is not one of them, so you're still on Jelly Bean there. They did, however, manage to reduce call noise. They fixed some bugs with regard to MTP transfers, rebooting due to Wi-Fi problems, uh, the screen automatically turning itself on whenever you'd put the phone in your pocket, things like that, and actually quite a few other things as well. You can find a link to all of that stuff, all the information about it, in OEM Relation Manager Jaredog's forum thread, where he also mirrored the update. So if you've got the 7A and you want to get this update, because you probably want to get this update, you can head on over to his thread to get the details on that one. Finally, three other videos were posted to XDA Developer TV this week. TK did another XDA Exposed Tuesday talking about side control. Then I did a quick walkthrough of some of the new features that came with the April NVIDIA Shield update. And finally, TK did another Android app review talking about creating apps of your own with Ready. For the links to those videos or any of the other stories that I talked about, look down in the video description below. You can also find the links to my YouTube channels down there as well. And while you're down there, go ahead and hit that like button if you enjoyed this video and subscribe to receive our content as soon as it becomes available. Thank you so much for watching though, and I'll see you again next time.